so today i'm going to walk you through all the features we have been added so here and you go to the animation tab here you can see we have additional scale here and i'll explain what it does to you later and when you go to settings we also got this applied rest boost advanced also this one i'll explain it later and also custom library you can also save your own animation as custom library and you can load it to your cart later so here also i have updated it to make it run faster also we have the retarget so here is the new feature huge update so with this one you can retarget any animation to any rig okay so yeah i'm going to show you how you can use this one okay. so first i have my character here and you can go to online to download any mockup animation from maybe Mizamo or mockup market so yeah let me go to so yeah, let me pin my web browser now when you go here we have this website called mockup market it has a lot of animations here you can download from also when you go to the coco library here and you go to resource and get free 3d asset it also give you free mockup animation here you can download and use so today i'm going to use mesomo animation okay so here i'm going to choose one of the animation and download it so this one okay this one simple so here i'm going to download it so let's go download and here i only need animation i don't need the skin okay and i'm going to choose 24 frame per second you can choose any frame you want so yeah i'll choose frame rate and download and the next thing is let's go to blender if anytime i want to import avs character to use it with this add-on make sure you go to retarget and go to import fbs or you can go to far import and choose and choose real motion pro fbs import to the folder so here and i'm going to import it once it has import you can see the animation here okay the next thing i'm going to do is pick source amateur so the source is the one that contain the animation which is this one and the target is the character this one and the next thing is click on build boom list and this is going to create all these boom list so you need to go and assign it okay or you can select both of them go to post mode okay so once you select a bone you select a bone like this or select this you can click on highlight and it will show you which bone uh, where it is okay and then you can see this leg and you can select this one and copy its name and now you can replace it here but here i have preset you can use it okay so here i'm going to build it here and click load preset since the cutter is mizamo animation and our cutter is auto rig here i can go and load this mizamo to auto rig so click on this it has so many presets here okay we have Rokoko to auto rig and I also have mocha market to this so here i'm going to load this once you load you can see it has automatically fail it you can also map your own bone and then save it as preset so later on you can load it so if you want to know everything about this add-on when you go to remotion it has pdf okay that will explain everything for you okay for example you can search for load preset and it's to show you what it means so the next thing i'm going to do is set your root bone what is the root bone the root bone is usually the bone that doesn't have parents or you can set it how so this is the root bone so i'm going to here and set this one select that and click on set root bone that means this is the root bone after that click on bind constraint and now you can see our character is doing the exact animation now let's play and see okay now we see it works Yeah, you can refine your animation or you can use this when you select the, the source amateur you can place it at anywhere you want and that's where the character is going to be okay or you can click copy skill if you see your character leg is sliding okay okay so after you get this you can also select your ray go to post mode and here you can check the bone okay so we select the bone and you can just align it like this especially when the hands is clipping through the body you can select it like this and rotate it okay so this how it's going to be so so once you are done and everything seems right to you just click bake and this is going to bake this one so now it has finished baking after this you can just select your rig and delete this okay 
and just delete this from the scene okay so now you have your animation for this character so after this you can save this animation as library by going to custom library and let's go to dope sheets um action and here we have this the action name when you select your rig you can see the action it is using this is called action when you change the name here and come here it will appear like this anytime you name it it will name also update on here so i'll go to this and i'll go to view render okay and i'll use this one as uh image and i'll choose the render as my image and this one i'll choose stand go to stand but i'm going to choose just stand for this and here i can export this as custom library make sure if your character is alteric choose alteric if it's rectified choose rectified if it's really miserable choose miserable okay this character is alteric so that's why i choose alteric so just just click on export it will prompt you to save your scene first so yeah, i'm going to save my scene okay so after i save it i can just click on export now it has finished exporting see it takes some few seconds to export now let's go to the animation here when you go to the animation and go to all category and go to auto rig we can find the animation here. you can see stand and dash auto rig that means we save for auto rig so it will end with auto rig if we save for mizamu you will go to the mizamu collection and you will find it here okay so after this you can just load this animation to any card let's say i'll go to post mode and i will delete all this animation i can load this animation to this character by selecting it pick okay and let me go to this and select the animation click load and you can see the animation has to load to our character you can load these two many characters as you want as far as they, they are the same okay so here i have this character also auto rig character so i'm going to load the animation to it so just select it and click pick rig and click load animation and you can see they are doing the exact animation okay let me bring it to this and you can see they are using the same one. so you can save any animation just go to mizamu or any website download your animation save it as and uh, retarget it save it as library and you can reduce for any character you want okay so again let me go and do it for uh, a character with a rectified okay so okay so this is a rectified character so make sure your character is in but in fk mode to switch your character to an fk mode just go to settings and use the pick to pick your character and choose the rectified this rectified so here i'll choose switch fk and go to switch this one to fk let's go to custom library uh, here and now we are going to get our animation okay so here we can go to your online and um you can download any animation i want okay so this one is um uh, and let me download this for girl dance animation download as fbs okay so now as i was finished downloading let me go here and use this one import and i'm going to get this this you can see the character is using 96 frame per second so what i'm going to do i want to squeeze the animation so it can be like 30 frame per second okay it's okay so the next thing i'm going to do is just select this one and let's pick this character as our source and pick this as our target so let's click build Links load and this is from mockup market so from mockup market to uh mockup market to rectify so i'll load this preset and you can see it automatically set it for us so the the root bone is this one okay so i'm going to set this one as my root bone and i'm going to band constraint so here let's check something you can see this character rest pose is t pose while this one rest pose is in a pose so it will cause some problem so let me see let's see how we can fix it so first let's bind the constraint okay let me hide the robot rig you can see it works but the hands is what gets him back like this okay you see so 
so how, how how we can face this is let's go to the first frame where the character is in t-boot and let's select our rig go to edit mode and here i'll just rotate this hand okay now let's test and see okay now we see it now it's better okay let's unhide uh the robots okay and now we see what we have so once you are happy with the results you just go and pick this okay let's pick good now it has finished picking here we can just select this and delete our robots okay so now we have our character we can just so once you're happy with the results you can go to custom library this is ready five and choose uh red five and let's go to the sheet okay this is called action okay so let's go and there's the action and you can see a chain here and let, let's call this salsa dance and i'll go and use vapor render and i'll call it one and i'll choose that one okay after that let's click on export now it has finished exporting okay so the next thing if you go to uh Redify, you can see we have it Sasa Dance Redify here. Okay, so let me go and reset this animation. So we can just go and load that animation. You can go to any key thing you want and load the animation. Uh pick this one. Okay, pick this one. Okay, so and choose Redify and load the animation. Done now. Huh? You can see it has loop and it is playing as before so now this has become a library you close blender you open it it's still there and you can load it to any verified card okay 